On the Money Watch, the October Consumer Price Index was up 3.2 percent, the smallest number we've seen since July. So the Consumer Price Index measures the change in prices paid by all of us. It's used to measure inflation. WBZ's Courtney Cole spoke with a chief financial analyst to learn more about how that number affects our wallets. You ever wanted to know how prices on goods and services are changing over time for the goods and services that you pay for? Well, that's essentially what the Consumer Price Index is. Every month, it measures the change in prices paid by you and me, and it's also used to measure inflation. I spoke to a chief financial analyst to learn more about what this data says about the health of our economy and the cost of living. Shelter motor vehicle insurance, and personal care. Those are really the three categories that continue to be the main trouble spots. They go up every month, month in, month out, and they've been going up at an outsized pace. That has to change if we're gonna see inflation get down to this 2% annual rate and stay there. And so far, those have been the holdout categories. Now, some of the other major categories that make up the Consumer Price Index include food, energy, medical care, and education and communication services, as well as shelter and transportation. Now, Greg McBride, the chief financial analyst you just heard from there, tells me the bottom line here, and really, one of the most important things to understand is this. Even with a lower rate of inflation, the Consumer Price Index is 18% higher now than it was three years ago. And that's what we're feeling. Courtney Cole. WBZ News.